take these off with the hammer uh, and then you cut through that with the reciprocating saw. Right. Yeah. So you took this out with the reciprocating saw. <clears throat> took these off with the hammer. These nail plugs. And then now we're going to put a cap on here. All right, so we'll use this this stuff here. Plumber's clear glue. Okay. Right. Okay, so we'll put a cap on there. Yeah. Yeah, do we want to... We, we shouldn't ever get to this again, should we? No, because obviously the... Case. Storm water. It's gonna be sorted up there. All right. Oh, okay. You put it on both sides. Too tired. All right. So, what's that cap called? Just a, just a cap. A cap, and you can fit. It's outside or inside a 90, 90 mil pipe. All right. It's done. Okay. Beautiful. Ah, so you just drill through the rivet. Yep. Yep, I've got this. Alright, so down. Pass up that hammer if you mind. Yep, sure. Here we go. Yep, got that. Alright, pull these out. Thank you. All good. So take this down pipe off from up here uh, but we're leaving this one here on that one because it's got uh, the pipes offset just underneath got a small angle. all right usually you university so. students you know, um, once one gets in there yeah they um, they spread the word, and you might have a change over every few years, but you've got you have an idea of of what's what. Yeah. So on this on this angle here, there was a bit of pipe that was still stuck in, so we just used the blade of the hacksaw and cut just cut through the pipe inside that was stuck in there and then with a flat screwdriver we just um, wedged it out um, so that that bit of pipe that was in here came out and then we could put on it's just a piece of pipe here 90 degree angle here and then this is the overflow so that's on top of the pipe that's bringing the water in of, into the tank because the water that's coming in that's heavier 
that pipe's heavier, so that's underneath. And we've got the water coming in up here. That's just a 45 degree angle going into the tank. And here we've got this piece here where we can open it. We can open that lid and then flush it out so all the leaves and any gunk and mud or debris could come out. So here we go. Then that's pretty much ready to backfill here. So again here, I'll just need the pipe here. Our one of the down pipes going in here and then providing the water that's going in the tank. That's that pipe underneath. And this piece here is then the water that's coming from the other down pipe joining in, going in the, in the tank. And this pipe here on top, this one here is the overflow. So this is going back into our storm water system. That here, that won't usually have any water in it, so that's why it's going to be lighter and that one's on top. Okay, so if I need to extend it, just, just cut it, just cut, cut it, it along extended. here. That's right. Along here, and then I just put another pipe onto socket. it. Yes, a the socket. pipes come with a female in them and a male end. Yep. So you just have the female in stuck it, stick on like on that. here. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Just take off the outside. Yes. Bit. If possible. If possible. I just use the reciprocating saw and the angle grinder to cut off that that bit there. And now we just try to take out the angle, and then we can go straight up, maybe. This one's glued quite well together, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Try this one. Might get a start. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I've got to start. All right. It's nearly off now. It's nearly, nearly off. Yeah, perfect. Good. And the front bit will just <coughs> cover good. with glue. Yep. Ready? Then we can go straight up. Yes, we just get a gutter. socket piece and put it into there. It doesn't matter how high. I can I can actually put it. I've got sockets, so I can actually put a socket there. And it, okay. And then I'll do that one piece right up. And I think I'll do it that way. I can do right. it that way. So there's the socket. Yeah. Yeah. I can do it that way, and that'll give it good strength. Yeah. And so I'm putting on the glue always both sides. Job done. So now that downpipe's also finished. So up here we've put 
that on and it's basically sealed to all the way to up here so that's all glued here down bit of pipe under here then that's connected to the 90 degree angle going across and again another 90 degree angle going all the way down and then into here and that's going into the tank and um, we just put two clips on this one one here and one here they're just nail clips so you just pre-drill into the brick put the nail clip uh, nail plug in and then use the hammer to hammer it in and uh, now all that's left to do is just backfilling here Got the backfill here and then this piece here so that T piece that is for in future any extension of the downpipe system so over here if, if I ever want to put any of these downpipes on and add them onto the system then that's easily possible all I need to do then is just cut off here and add the pipe onto here and um, that down pipe here is all finished as well all sealed to up here where it joins onto the gutter it's all sealed and glued and that's all done and then the overflow from the rainwater tank is going to go it's here where it's joining into the stormwater system.